to stop for a moment and talk about replacement theology. This is also called supersessionism. This idea apparently started as early as 200 AD, and the belief is that God, in his anger for the part the Jews played in putting Jesus to death, revoked his covenant with Israel, they're no longer his chosen people, and they're outside of divine grace, and that somehow Christians are now his new chosen people fully replacing Israel. What do you say about that, Rick? What I say is it's a very unfortunate, absolute utter misrepresentation of scripture. That's what, what I say. And the scriptures bear that out. And we're going to, we're going to quote so many scriptures on this. If you have that belief, you have to listen to these scriptures and say, these are very obvious. So we do see Christianity as God's chosen people, but we also see Israel as God's chosen people. Yes, there is room for both to work together. And we will see that unfold as this happens. So no, this replacement re- replacement theory is just that. It is a theory and it needs to be put aside because it is unfactual according to scripture. Let's look at